We often think of focus as pure mental effort, but what if it's actually about effortlessness? The latest neuroscience, based on Carl Friston's free energy principle, reframes the brain as a prediction engine. Higher cortical areas constantly send predictions down about what you should be hearing, while sensory areas send signals up. Focus is the state of flow that occurs when these signals match perfectly. When there's a mismatch, a prediction error, your brain's attention is hijacked. It must burn valuable cognitive resources to update its internal model of the world. So, a chaotic soundscape isn't just annoying. It's a source of constant prediction errors, forcing your brain into an inefficient, high-effort state. True concentration isn't forcing your mind to work harder. It's creating an environment where it doesn't have to. So, what does a predictable sound environment look like? The secret lies in a lost art. Psychoacoustic symmetry. For centuries, music was built on just intonation, where musical intervals are simple, whole number frequency ratios, like 3.2. This creates perfectly aligned, stable sound waves. But here's the amazing part, your own ear actively helps. Due to the natural non-linearity of your cochlea, when you hear a pure interval, your ear generates phantom combination tones, often a bass note that reinforces the harmony. It's a phenomenon discovered by the violinist Tartini. It means your auditory system is built to perceive and reinforce this natural symmetry. Modern tuning, equal temperament, is a compromise that uses irrational numbers, creating subtle inharmonic noise that your brain must filter out, increasing its workload. The problem is that almost all audio you hear today is perceptually unbalanced. There's a scientific standard. ISO 226, which defines the brain's factory settings for hearing, the ideal perception of loudness across all frequencies. This standard reveals our hearing is highly nonlinear. Our sensitivity to bass and treble plummets at low volumes, which is why music sounds thin and weak when you turn it down. Any deviation from this ideal curve, whether from your headphones design or your own unique hearing, creates perceptual asymmetry. This forces your brain to act as a subconscious audio engineer, constantly trying to rebalance the sound. This isn't just tiring for your ears, it causes measurable cognitive fatigue, draining the mental energy you need for high-level thinking and focus. My Eco Pro attacks this problem at its root with radical personalization. This is not a clinical hearing test that just finds the quietest sound you can detect. Instead, it maps your supra-threshold perception how you experience the loudness of everyday sounds, which is far more relevant for cognitive performance. It's the difference between generic reading glasses and a custom ground prescription lens tailored to your specific vision. After mapping your unique auditory profile against the ideal ISO 226 standard, it creates a precise inverse filter. This filter doesn't just boost frequencies. It intelligently pre-distorts the audio signal. The goal is that the sound reaching your eardrum is perfectly calibrated so that after being processed by your unique ears, it lands in your brain with perfect perceptual symmetry. The most profound benefit, however, is long-term. Think about how a new hearing aid user's brain has to acclimate over weeks, learning to interpret the new amplified sounds. This is neuroplasticity in action. MyEek.pro induces a more advanced form of this process. By consistently delivering a perceptually perfect and symmetrical signal, it provides a form of passive, targeted auditory training. Instead of learning to cope with a distorted signal, your brain learns from an ideal one. This can recalibrate and strengthen your entire auditory processing network, making it more efficient. The result is not just better focus while using the tech, but a sustained increase in your brain's resilience to auditory fatigue and a greater capacity for concentration in your daily life.